Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Isilon Quick Tips. In this one, we're gonna show how to use ECS to set up SIF shares. So first thing, let's jump in and let's look at our users and our SIF users. And so this is the specific user that's gonna be used to set up and access our shares. So now I've already downloaded the exe file. So you can see this SIF's ECS 1.2 version. So let's click on this and try to install this real quick. You can see, accept our licensing agreement and verify that this is where we wanna put our directory in this program file. So now as this is installing, we're gonna finish up, we're gonna map that first ECS directory. We're gonna call this our local ECS. And for our SIFS host, we're gonna write all files and folders to lowercase. And let's go in here, our lab ECS. You can see here all the required fields. So let's put back in our SIFS user for our user ID. And you can see we're gonna use HTTPS and we're gonna set it up to HTTP and 9020 is gonna be our port. Add in our host name, which is ecs.demo.local. Add that over to our list. Verify that that works. Now use this one and let's find our SIFS bucket. Our SIFS bucket is SIFS data. Got that selected. Now let's move along and verify everything. So everything looks fine. Let's finish this up. And now we have that share to our drive. Let's go ahead and select that E drive, so our local ECS, and let's put a file filter on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that we want to exclude mp3s so say that you didn't want mp3s to come into this file share put some kind of policy on it you have the ability here to lock that in so we can add that to this local ecs that we've just mapped to our environment and now we've stopped mp3s from being uploaded so let's test this out by opening and creating out a test document so we're going to test out our first document that we've uploaded to our eShare here on our local ECS. Now we've got this. Let's look at the properties here. And you can see we have our SIFS ECS appears to be uploaded. Now let's double check that by jumping into CyberDuck and using their S3 protocol to check out that SIFS data. And you can see here that we have our test document. So congratulations, just use GeoDrive to upload a document. 